Great piece here from uh, Caro Kane about Monaghan and uh, the response that Monaghan have made to their defeat by Fermanagh in the Ulster Football Championship. A shock defeat after they've beaten Tyrone. Monaghan will go on the attack, insists O'Rourke. He's saying Kildare have momentum. No, they don't. Uh, momentum's not a real thing. They've got confidence. It's different. But anyway, uh, he's also saying that they've completely opened up their attack and that actually what happened in the Fermanagh game was unpredictable. And that uh, they did push up on the kickouts, but Fermanagh was just very good that day. And stuff happens in Gaelic football because uh, styles make fights. We need to put up a Twitter poll to see what the viewers and listeners think about momentum, whether or not it's real. Because uh, I'm just getting it in my ear from uh, Tommy in the production box there saying that it is real. So uh, it's, it's two against one at this point. So you, you've got a, an agenda against momentum. You're talking shit, Tommy says, about me. Uh, anyway, I, look, stick the Twitter poll up. Everybody's going to go, yes, but like... You know, a bunch of people believe in a bunch of weird stuff. Well, you see, the thing, what's going to happen with the Twitter poll is it'll be 55% against 45%, and then people will see the 55%, and they'll vote with 55%, and that sure is momentum. <laughs> uh, well, whatever. I mean, as you accurately predicted, everybody is uh, seeing the fact that the wind is blowing your way, and uh, momentum is real, 87% of you say. It's nonsense. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm, I'm just being asked in my ear from the production box, what's your point here, Jer? What's your point? My point is that um, a lot I, I can of see your point. a lot of cliche slips into the discussion around sport, and rather than us actually seeking, actively seeking through hard work and analysis, the truth about what happened, we go ah no, that team played three weeks in a row. They lost the third game. They must be tired. Which obviously Kildare showed real signs of fatigue last week against Fermanagh in their third week in a row, didn't they? So that tiny little narrative that comes from small sample sizes gets, uh, gets pumped out into all sorts of environments where somebody comes up with a big catch and they go, oh, momentum shifted after that. And there's no other reason why the entire team suddenly stopped playing. But yeah. maybe, maybe that was actually there the whole time, but it's much easier to point to that one thing leads to this, even though cause and effect are much harder to understand in sport, which is so random. Well, there's truth in what you're saying, but that doesn't necessarily discount the whole idea of momentum. There might be a tiny shift in a game, but it is still a momentum shift or that big catch. It doesn't mean it's the sole reason that your team is going to win or lose. But it's always held up as the sole reason. That's, that's, that my point is that the notion of momentum and hunger and a bunch of other things in sport are overplayed. Are massively overplayed. Yeah, well, that's I mean, a different conversation is, whether or not it's real. The truth is far more complicated, but it's not real in the terms that it's understood to be real. It's like, oh, the momentum's over, and therefore... All of the other things that happen in the aftermath of that are retrofitted to be as a result of this one thing. Well, so momentum is a state of mind, isn't it? It's uh, it's like, and, it's and kind every of an single illusion. and so everybody in the stadium has that same feeling. Yeah, and that there, but it has a tangible effect. It may not, it may not like it may be kind of like a bullshit kind of idea. But it has a real effect as long as... Maybe a bullshit kind of idea, as I just said. It might... It's kind of like... So you agree? It's bullshit? No, I, I, the only point I agree with you in is that it is sometimes overplayed. But I do think it's real in the fact that once you have an actual belief in this thing and it's it affecting how you believe and how you think and how you interact with a game, then... Like the placebo effect? Almost, yeah. <laughs> is a placebo effect real, sir? Yeah, I mean... Yes, I, it is. I guess... <laughs> it's an actual scientific fact just like momentum. Well, so momentum is definitely not a scientific fact. Uh, a couple of quick comments on this. Fast by velocity. Uh, if you get a great win slash play well, the adrenaline kicks in and your confidence goes up and the intensity of your game is much better, says David O'Grady. If you get a great win, though, if the adrenaline kicks in, the adrenaline is not there the next time you're playing because if it is, your adrenal glands have got some kind of massive tumour in them and all they're doing is pumping out adrenaline and you're lying there Stiff as a board, pretty much dead after a heart attack. That's what happens if uh, adrenaline kicks in and doesn't stop. Because it, it wears off. You get high, you get low. John Giles used to have this thing where he would talk about being awake in the middle of the night after a difficult game. You're just lying there awake, completely crashed after this massive emotional high. How is it that that game rolls on to the next game? It doesn't. There is no... What you have is the sum of your knowledge and your achievements to fall back on. And you have experience now of what you did in the last game that worked. That's what that is. That's not momentum from the last game. That's experience, success, good habits, and that's not momentum. 
is that, but that's what I mean, but is, it, is momentum not the collective of all that sort of stuff? Well, then it's like some kind of religious thing. That's, that that, that's, quite, it, like, that's not too far away from what I was just saying, it, with it being a state of mind and it being kind of a, a spiritual sort of element yeah. to it. Yeah, which and is bullshit. That's like, but it that has is a real Tony effect. Robbins bullshit. It has a real effect. If people believe it, then it has a real effect. You know, that's... What about when a team has a run on you or you've gone in front and one of your players gets injured, lies down, kills the game for a few minutes, momentum gone. It's real and it can be manipulated. I experience it 10 times a year. Uh, that one, I think, is from our own uh, Tomas Rooney. He just, like, is setting up, like, face, fake Twitter accounts to support his idea. Well, I'm, I'm with him on that one, uh, I must say. Uh, oh, Murphy says, it's pretty real, lads. Mass times velocity, bike riders, That's what, yep. Formula One cars, skiers, Tyg Furlong. Hey. Yeah, I mean, uh, Tyg Furlong. Furlong. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> like, that's, Can't disagree uh, with that. No, that, uh, that gets us out of that We're, we're not talking about the scientific. As much as your theory supports my idea, it, we're, like, I, I don't think you're talking about the actual scientific theory of momentum. Otherwise, you, you're kind of defying physics. You're talking about the notion of momentum in the sporting sense. Exactly. The horrific cliche that gets used to lazily explain things away. In the moment, it's real. Too many variables for it to carry on from day to day, week to week, etc. If that happens, it's just because you're better than everybody else. That's my point, Aaron. That's, exactly. I think that's a good nuance taking it. Uh, Virgil Cain says it absolutely is. One team competitor gets their tails up and there's visible shifts in the intensity of their performance. I think it's just the teams work each other out and... Um, like teams sometimes raise their intensity at certain triggered moments like teams take rests within games if you talk to the, some of the coaches they're like yeah we try and coach to okay everybody have a break and then it's go 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 and everybody knows where we're going and there's signals for that um in great teams particularly in the invasion sports as they're called where it's like okay we're going to have a little breather here maintain find a defensive shape everybody understands that we're in prevent defense and then after that you go on